on her 172nd anniversary. I might also add that it's our governor's birthday today, but we won't say how many. Happy birthday, Governor. Good afternoon, I'm Steve White, President of Mystic Seaport, the Museum of America and the Sea. I'd like to thank the U.S. Coast Guard Band for setting the stage this afternoon, and now I'd like to call upon them again to officially open the ceremony with the playing of our national anthem. Please rise. The flag is up here. Thank you, Reverend Hubbard. It is both my pleasure and honor to lead us through the ceremony and the launching of the Charles W. Morgan this afternoon. Please note in your program, we are interchanging Mr. Vitor and Governor Malloy's place in the program. I'd first like to express my gratitude to all of you who are here today, with us here in the shipyard and on the grounds, on the Sabino and on the river, and with us across the country and indeed around the world as we stream the ceremony live on the internet. Together, you help us celebrate our country's maritime heritage and the extraordinary restoration of this magnificent vessel, the Charles W. Morgan, a National Historic Landmark vessel and the last of her kind. Frankly, I think it's hard for all of us here to believe that this day is actually here. Some four and a half years ago, after a haul out on November 8, 2008, today is yet another significant milestone in this project, and there is indeed much to say about it. And I will leave that largely to the others who will share the podium this afternoon. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce those who are joining me on the dais today. From my right and your left, in the back row, Board Chairman Richard Vitor, Congressman Joe Courtney, State Senator Andy Maynard, Reverend Ann Auberg, and in the front row, Governor Daniel Malloy, keynote speaker Rick Burns, and Charles W. Morgan descendant Sarah Bullard. Toward the latter part of the ceremony, we expect U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal to join us as well. <coughs> also in attendance today, I'd like to recognize Connecticut State Representatives Diana Urban and Alyssa Wright, Connecticut State Senator Gary LeBeau, Massachusetts State Representative Anthony Cabral, Mayor John Mitchell of New Bedford, and Chip Janigan, Acting Maritime Administrator of MARAD. Welcome. I'm also pleased to introduce members of the Mystic Seaport community who've guided this institution for many years with deep conviction to its mission and extraordinary dedication to the people, vessels, and artifacts that create the unique place of Mystic Seaport. First, I'd like to acknowledge our trustees, who've not only provided guidance and oversight to the policies and, and uh, priorities for the museum, but who have also demonstrated their personal commitment to the Charles W. Morgan and the requirements of her restoration and the vision of her 38th voyage. Quite frankly, without their extraordinary financial commitment, I am doubtful that we would be so far along with this project. Trustees, please stand to be acknowledged by our members and our friends. Trustees, thank you very much. Secondly, I'd like to acknowledge the presence and the commitment of our immediate past presidents, Rebel Carr, 1978 to 2000, and Doug Teeson, 2001 to 2009. Gentlemen, please stand if you would. I inherited the Morgan Restoration Project from Doug, who also knew when he took the helm that a tremendous amount of initial preparation had already been undertaken by Revel and his team. Gentlemen, today I can say that with your preparation and with the work of our present staff, we have reached this stage of preservation of one of America's most significant maritime artifacts. Thank you both. Finally, I turn my remarks to the staff, whose expertise and many hours of hard work and dedication have yielded this beautiful hall behind me. It begins with the leadership of Dana Hewson, Vice President of Watercraft Preservation and Programs. Dana is well known in the maritime world, and his knowledge of traditional vessels like the Morgan is highly respected. 
Throughout his 35 years of service to the museum, Dana has provided the steadfast and careful management of our collection of 500 plus vessels, and particularly our four national historic vessels. Thank you, Dana. You have partnered extremely well and extraordinarily well with over the years with shipyard staff, led for the last 18 years by our shipyard director, Quentin Snedeker. Together, Dana and Quentin have accomplished some remarkable work here in the Henry B. DuPont Preservation Shipyard that includes some remarkable work on significant vessels like Rowan, Sabino, Annie, and the MSC Berry, and of course, the construction of Amistad. As they will be the first to tell you that Mystic Seaport has attracted over time some of the finest shipwrights, riggers, sawyers, caulkers, smiths, documentarians, and workers whose talents have made these various projects a reality, and whose skill is admired by the wooden boat community nationwide. Additionally, we are fortunate to have a team of able volunteers who have also contributed significant hours of support to the project. Over the past four and a half years, thousands of... Uh, again, I just want to take a moment to um, salute, again, Steve White, the Board of Trustees and the staff. This is a wooden whaling ship, but it was an act of iron will that it took to get the resources, the staff, uh, even the timber uh, to make today possible. And as many trips to Washington, advocating for a uh, maritime museum as a pri priority for our country, uh, again, it, it was, there were some dark days. That This was a tough economy over the last four and a half years to raise funds, and yet here we are, you did it. And it's just, a, again, an amazing compliment to all of you uh, that we're at, reached this point. And to Quentin Snedeker, who on our many um, trips of donor states coming up to uh, Mystic Seaport, uh, having the opportunity to listen Sarah to Sarah Bullard, formerly of New Bedford and currently a resident of East Booth Bay, Maine, and the great, great, great granddaughter of Charles W. Morgan will christen the vessel with a special bottle of blended waters from the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, upon which the Morgan sailed and other waters, as you can see on the back of your program. The water was blended here at Mystic Seaport and symbolizes the Morgan's rebirth and return to the world's waters for a 38th voyage in the summer of 2014. And so, without further ado, Sarah, would you please christen the Charles W. Morgan? to be the one chosen to christen the Morgan as she returns to the sea. And I want everyone who has touched her, every paid craftsman and unpaid volunteer, who has treasured and cherished her and who has lovingly brought her back to sail again into New Bedford Harbor, to know that they will be with me as I swing the bottle. Along with these amazing craftsmen, I will also swing the bottle with, with all of those who had the foresight in 1925 to want to preserve this great ship. They would indeed be astounded to see her now. I am truly humbled by this honor.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a slow watch. <laughs> Those of you that came anticipating the giant splash or the quick run down the waves are going to be severely disappointed. So, to take the help fill the time of the 18 to 20 minutes, literally, that it's going to take for the Morgan to. Those who gather today to honor the Morgan upon her launch day, to watch here in wonder as she lowers away, to float in her grandeur once more on the way. And to all these brave shipwrights who've labored so long, whose hearts have been ready and backs have been strong, with a tip of a hat and a verse of this song, we honor the skilled trades that you carry on. And to all you supporters of every kind who so generously given in coin, heart, and mind, simple thanks will not do, but today's events will. As we launch the bald Morgan, then a dream we fulfill. And to this great museum, we raise up a toast. And to all of you watching today, coast to coast, in honor and pride, we say fair winds to thee, Charles W. Morgan, brave queen of the sea. <laughs> song that would have been sung on board a vessel like this going around Cape Horn to tell go on to Chile in the 1840s. I've been a sea cook and I've been a clipper man. I can sing, I can dance, I can walk the you do. Hands and a harpoon, a cut to my figure. Whatever I get in a boat stand in room, we'll rant and we'll roar like true Yankee women. Rant and we'll roar, a nectar beach the palm way. Oh, 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 another day. May shine with brighter lights. Oh, 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 Three 